Hey YouTube, uh, Jay here again. Today we're going to go over, um, well not really go over, it's going to be uh, my first impression of uh, some of the new gear I just got. Later on I'll try to do um, a better review on each product separately. Um, and a first impression on the, um, the online store that I got it from. So let's start with the vape. Oh, man, that's good. Mom Baker Vapor Blueberry Juice. Uh, what is it? Uh, 20 PG, 80 VG blend. Oh, it's delicious. Anyhow, that's not what we're here for. Today's uh, first impression on some of the new gear I just got. Um, first up, you can see the, uh, the tank I've got on there, which is almost empty. Um, it's a Geek, Geek Vape Griffin. Um, and first impression, I really, really like this tank. Um, it, uh, it's really easy to build on. Uh, the build I've got in here, the flavor is just fantastic. Um, and it seems to be really nice quality. Uh, I only had to do one, one wash, one rinse real quick. Um, there was only one spot on the, uh, the top fill and up there where I could see any oil. The rest of it was all clean, clean, clean. Liked it. Um, first impression, I, this is this is my favorite tank. I've been using this the most right now out of what I've gotten. Um, the only thing that I can uh, complain about uh, for a first impression is the airflow control is really loose. Um, if you've got it in your pocket or something, it at least mine will move around um, and I've tried to take a take a toke on it and it's uh, um, the airflow is closed but the, oh okay here spin that open there you go runs great um, I'm running it at uh, 48 watts the build I've got in here is omen out at 4.4 not 4.4 4.44 anyhow and if you'll notice, I have it sitting on, or was sitting on, I just pulled it off, uh, Sigeli Fuchai, red. Um, really nice device, really like this so far, first impression. Uh, first impression, I really, I, I like the size, I like the weight, um, the menu is super easy to, to navigate. Um, and the place I bought this from actually threw in two 18650 batteries. So they've got a complete ready to go. You don't have to worry about it. Now I already had some batteries, so now I've got extra. But um, first impression, I really like the way it feels. Um, the the offset rectangle octagon with the whatever the hell you call it, I don't remember. Um, feels real good in the hand. It does if you if your uh, index finger button pusher works there. Flip it the other way easy for the thumb, feels real good. The uh, the other purchase that I got, yeah I kind of went crazy, got got a bunch of stuff all at once, um, was the Smock TFV4 or Smoke, I don't know how that you're supposed to pronounce it, but um, this is a really nice tank. Now it is bigger than your other tanks, I think it's 24 millimeters, um, so there is a little bit of overhang um, on my Segele, but man, you can't beat the performance of this thing. Um, clouds, flavor, oh my god, it's fantastic. Um, that said, if you've seen any other reviews on this thing, it chews the juice. It, it, it thinks it's free. Um, it, what is it, a five mil tank? You, if I used this solely, I could easily go through three tanks a day. Um, easily go through. So I haven't been using this as much just because I'm cheap and don't want to have to buy that much juice. Um, but I really like the tank. Uh, there goes my furnace. That's the quality is going to be horrible on the sound. Um, but this little rubber sleeve 
It's meant to be a um, glass protector, tank protector, uh, but I've found that if I keep it up over the juice flow, or not the juice flow, the, the top fill, um, this top fill pops open really easily. So I leave it up top and that makes sure that this doesn't come open in my pocket. Um, but tons and tons of airflow, tons and tons of flavor, seems to be really well made. Um, I, again, uh, really, really, really clean. Didn't have any issues with that. One wash, one rinse, I was ready to go. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, actually I'm gonna turn it off, I only have, we're only at uh, 48 watts on the, on the Griffin. We're gonna crank this up to like 65. Uh, 67 and stopped right there. I just Oh great flavor great 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 flavor. And I also picked up five pack of coils um, And these coils are massive massive I mean here's Here's a, a uh, Kanger Subtank Mini. It's over half the size of a Subtank Mini. That's why this thing performs the way it does. These coils, those are the trip coils, um, are just enormous. But, so, oh, one more thing about the Segeli. Um, the finish on here feels real nice. It's kind of, it's almost a, a rubbery type finish. But that being said, um, I've already dropped it once. I've only had it for three or four days. Um, and you can see right here, the finish is already starting to chip. Um, and some of the other reviews, I think it was uh, Vape Fagin, um, his, uh, the one he had, that I think it was his. Anyways, one of the reviews I watched somewhere, um, the finish was, was um, scratching off real easy. And that could end up being a con. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, there's my first impression. Oh, wait a minute, the store I bought it from. The online store I got this from was Vape NW. Um, and my first impression with them, they had really good prices and their shipping was really good. So their, the customer service was really good. Now that was, that's the only thing that I've, this, everything I just showed you is the only thing I've ever ordered from them but it was shipped out the exact same day I ordered it. Um, and the prices are pretty damn good. Uh, I paid 30 bucks for the Griffin. Uh, this, the, the box, the Segeli, with batteries. Batteries will cost you 15 bucks um, for a set, easy. Um, so I got the, the box and batteries for 60 bucks. That's cheap, 60 bucks for a box and batteries? Considering you can easily spend $15 on just batteries? You know, so knock that down. I, if 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 you want to break them apart separate, that means that I paid 45 bucks for a Segeli Fuchai 200 watt temperature control. Good price. Um, the Smoke TFV4, I paid th uh, 25 bucks for. Now that is a single kit, so I got only the tank and a coil, um, and a little bag of goodies. Um, let's see, and then uh, coils, uh, five pack of trip coils for the TFV4. Uh, I got that for $21.50. So, if you're doing any kind of looking, so far, first impression, they seem to have good prices. They seem to have good uh, customer service. Um, there you go. I'll, uh, I'll end with that. Uh, I will have a link to the Vape NW in the description. Uh, as always, like, share, subscribe. Love to see some subscribers that'd be fantastic and uh vape safe